Hello everyone, welcome to Tutor Here. I am Tutor Anupa and I am back with another English grammar video. So today's topic is subject verb agreement. Now you can see this sentence Radha is a sweet girl. We know in a sentence we have a subject verb as well as an object. So here Radha is the subject and is is the helping verb, right? So here the subject as well as the verb, they are agreeing because the sentence is grammatically correct. But here in these two sentences, she were going to college, Rajiv and Ananya hates doing their homework. These two sentences are grammatically incorrect. So instead, the answer, the right answer will be these. She was going to college and Rajiv and Ananya hate doing their homework. So, we will be looking at subject verb agreement through different rules. Rule number one, in a sentence when you use a singular subject, so the verbs which we must use is uh, is, was, has, does or verbs ending in s or es because these verbs are in singular form. That is, if you have a singular subject, the verbs that you will use is singular. Arya are eating her lunch. Her teacher were very angry. Raghav never goes to school on time. Here, the subject Arya, teacher, Raghav, they all are singular. But the verbs that we are using are, were, go. These are used for plural verb forms. These are plural verb forms which are not agreeing to the subject. Right? So, the correct answer will be Arya is eating her lunch. Her teacher was very angry. And Raghav never goes to school on time. Rule number two, if you have a plural subject, that is in a sentence, if the subject is plural, so the verbs that you will use are are, were, have, do or verbs without s or es endings because these verbs are in plural forms. So that is if the subject is plural, verbs should be plural. For example, they is going to the hospital. My friends is coming tomorrow. We all hates eating vegetables. These sentences are grammatically incorrect, right? Because here the subject, they, my friends, we all, we are talking about many people, plural subject, right? And the verbs that we are using, they are in singular form. So they are not uh, matching each other, right? So the correct answer will be, they are going to the hospital. Second, my friends are coming tomorrow. And third, we all hate eating vegetables. Now, rule number three. If you have the pronoun you as the subject of the sentence, so the verbs that we are going to use is the plural verb forms, which is are, were, have, do, or verbs without s or es endings. So look at these two sentences again. You should go to the doctor. In order to score good marks, you have to study hard. They are grammatically incorrect, right? And the subject verb is not agreeing with each other. So the correct answer is, you should go to the doctor. In order to score good marks, you have to study hard. Rule number four, whenever two subjects are joined by the conjunction and they are considered as plural subjects. So we'll be using a plural verb forms for plural subjects, right? Example, Mary and John are quite different. Gold and silver are precious metals. But here also we have some exceptions. For the word, bacon and eggs is my favorite dish. Here we have used the singular verb form is because bacon and eggs is considered to be a singular subject, right? So other exceptions like this is uh, bread and butter, rice and curry, hammer and sickle, slow and steady, truth and honesty, all these words which you can see, whenever we use them in a sentence, we'll be using the verb as singular verb form. Rule number five, if the collective noun refers to the group as a unit, as one subject, then we'll be using singular verb forms. But if it refers to the individuals in the group or parts that make up the group, then we will use plural verb form. For example, this organization puts on barbecue every summer. Here, this organization, we are referring to one subject, just one. So, it will be 
singular verb form which is puts. Martin's family plans to go on a vacation next month. Martin's family is considered to be one subject. That's why plans will be singular verb form. A huge swarm of locusts has destroyed the crops. Here, huge swarm of locusts has been considered to be one singular subject. So, the singular verb form has has been used. We are almost towards the end of the video, but as usual, I have questions for you. So, the question is, select the correct verb form for the subjects in these sentences. First one, the dog eats slash eats the bone. My mom likes slash likes pizza and tacos. My brother and sister play slash plays basketball. One of the cars go slash goes very fast. And the last one. This car looks slash looks amazing. Alright then, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you guys next time.